You know, vitamin D is a very interesting vitamin. It's not really a vitamin, it's a hormone. But today I want to talk about the 10th reason why you may be deficient in vitamin D. So there's a lot of reasons why people are deficient in vitamin D. It could be diet. They're not consuming enough fatty fish, cod liver oil. In fact, it's almost impossible to get your vitamin D requirement from the diet. You're indoors, you're not on the sun, that could be a reason. Uh, you're getting older. As you age, your skin gets thicker and you have less absorption of vitamin D through the skin. It could be your skin color because the darker the skin, the more melanin in your skin, which blocks UV light, which reduces the absorption of vitamin D. And then number five, obesity. The more weight you have on your body, the less vitamin D you're gonna be able to absorb. Number six, metabolic syndrome. This includes diabetes, high blood pressure, insulin resistance. Number seven, inflammation. If you have a lot of inflammation in your body, you're not gonna be able to absorb very much vitamin D. Number eight, malabsorption. And this also includes a lack of bile, or let's say you had your gallbladder removed. You're not gonna be able to absorb vitamin D too well. Uh, number nine, infection. When you have infections, whether viral or bacterial, that's gonna inhibit your vitamin D absorption. And number 10, the focus of this video is polymorphism. Now, what is that? That is a mutation or alteration in the genes that control the vitamin D receptor. And there's six known um, mutations or variations of this gene. And you can get your genes tested to see if you have any of these. Uh, that's in another video. But if you have polymorphism, what's happening is you have the vitamin D that's supposed to be traveling through your blood to connect to the vitamin D receptor. The problem is we have resistance in the receptor right now. And so because vitamin D is like a message or a communication, it won't really matter how much vitamin D or how much communication is flowing through your bloodstream. It really matters if that communication is being received, right? If you were to talk to someone who is ignoring you, that has earplugs, who alters what you're trying to communicate, who doesn't understand what you're trying to communicate, you can have vast problems with that, right? Well, the exact same thing happens in the body with vitamin D. If the vitamin D receptor can't receive that communication, you're going to be deficient uh, regardless of how much vitamin D communication that's trying to send over through the blood. Now, what's very interesting about this topic is that vitamin D receptors are located in most of your body tissue, okay? So they are all over the place, and this is why vitamin D is so, so important in mineral metabolism, metabolic pathways, including your immune cells. You have vitamin D receptors in almost all of your immune cells. Vitamin D and its receptors are also involved in glucose and insulin metabolism. So if you have this... Um, defect in the vitamin D receptor gene, all sorts of things can happen. You can get rickets. That's a vitamin D uh, deficiency in children where your legs are bowed and we have all sorts of skeletal malformations. If you're an adult, you can get osteoporosis or like a precursor to osteoporosis, which is osteopenia. Hair loss, and I'm talking about alopecia, which is an autoimmune disease. That's definitely related to this problem with the vitamin D receptor. Susceptibility to viruses. Why? Because vitamin D is essential to your immune system. Liver inflammation. Vitamin D is probably one of the most potent natural anti-inflammatories around. So if you don't have enough anti-inflammatories, the liver gets more inflamed. It's more susceptible to inflammation. And then fibrosis, cirrhosis, a fatty liver, insulin resistance, etc. And polymorphism is also related to the autoimmune diseases, MS, lupus, Hashimoto's, as in hypothyroidism, type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and insomnia. So what can we do about this? Well, if we have the receptor that's resistant to vitamin D, well, you can take higher amounts of vitamin D. That will actually help. But there's also another thing that's very interesting about activating the vitamin D receptor. We have the different versions of vitamin D and bile salts. Bile salts can activate the vitamin D. And I've done a lot of videos on this and I recommend bile salts with a lot of different conditions. And that is probably why it's very effective in enhancing the vitamin D message to be able to be understood or received in order for the vitamin D to be more receptive and do its various functions. And this includes also secondary bile salts. Let me explain what that is. You have primary bile salts, which are created by your liver. 
that come down through the bile ducts and get stored in the gallbladder. But the secondary bile salts are made by your friendly microbes. So this gives another dynamic and another area to focus on because if you don't have all the friendly bacteria in the right amounts, in order to make the secondary bile salts, that could be another missing link of why you might have various health problems. So if you're struggling with uh, any of the conditions that I mentioned, you may want to take more vitamin D as well as purify bile salts. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.